Hello my dear students, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my class. I am your Arts and Craft teachers, Kohinu Raktar, presenting my second lecture from chapter 3. In my previous class, I had discussed about some major folk arts of Bangladesh. There was Alpona, Sharachitra and Porchitra. Today, I will discuss from lesson 3 from chapter 3. So, dear students, go to page number 22. Embroidery Quilt In this lesson, we will be learned behind the story of embroidery quilt, nukshikatha making technique and the subjects and the ingredients of embroidery quilts making. So, let's see. Embroidery quilt is one of the most attractive precedents of Bangladesh, working day by day during leisure time. The village girls make appear colorful pictures and design on quilt by needle and threads. In these pictures, there are some stories, many tales. Village bride and making appear the story of sorrow and happiness of their own life in the picture with threads and needle. A single quiet sometimes needs one year, even more than two years in some cases. Artists, artistic excellence of some world is surprising. The designs on the quilts are flower, leaves, trees, lotus, moon, stars, bird, fish, different animal, even houses, etc. Again, shapes like line, circle, round shapes, house, trichonometric house are used again and again on quilt. Frequent uses of the sum shapes or design are called motif. Embroidery quilts are classified into different types according to their uses. For example, Shujani Piri, Lip Katha, Chadur Katha, Jainamaj, Ashun Katha, Palki Katha, Rumal Katha, etc. There are two main streams of styles of the quilt of Bangladesh. One of them is Joshri style and another is Russia style. Besides Churuvang, Khulna, Faridpur, etc. Reasons have remarkable styles. The embroidery quilts of Joshur holds the highest position in Bangladesh. The swing of the quilt of the reason is very sophisticated and refined. Their quilts are never sold in village fair. Those quilts are made for themselves. But embroidery quilts are made at the order by other to exchange of remunications. Today, these embroidery quilts are seen to be sold in handicraft shops in cities. Even these convocational articles are sold in the international markets. Now my dear students, I would like to show you some examples of embroidery quilts. Those are made by village girls. Those are very attractive for me. That's why I like to share with you. You see the designs and the colorful traits applying systems. In this picture, this girl holding various colorful embroidery quilts. So my dear students, our next topic is terracotta. In this column, we'll be learn the oldest story of terracotta. Terracotta art is the nearliest form of plastic art in which the Bengal art is exiled. 
The art products in terracotta or burnt clay satisfied the creative impulse of the artist and also meet the domestic and ritual needs or ordinary man. Clay objects were either break in the sun or burnt into terracotta for hardening and durability and were used by men in this daily life since prehistoric time. Due to the paucity of stone and the complex technology involved in metal sculptures. The artistic desire of Bengali artist found expression in clay, which was evidently available and it hardly involved either any complex technical no how or any heavy financial involvement. Thousands of untutored artists produce immemorable terracotta objects from prehistoric time. The abundant finds of objects made of terracotta in Bengal is a sure evidence of the sum of clay as a most common and popular medium of art expression of the people from the very dawn of civilization in this delta land. The art was practiced in Bengal from the earliest throne, early medieval to medieval times and even persisted on Hindu movement till the mid-19th century. The art is noticed in all forms, small clay, frigorines clay sculptures in the round. But the most notable ones are the plaques, terracotta panels and friesens used as sun face recondition on bricks buildings are Bengals. Remarkable contribution to the sum total of South Asian art. Our most ancient terracotta find in Mohastangar, Paharpur, Moinamati of Kumilla, Bagha Moshchid, Adina Moshchid of Tangail, etc. Now my dear students, I would like to show you some examples of terracotta. These terracotta are before burning look. Artists get their own design on clay. This terracotta is after burning look. I think this terracotta made for any office or house. So my dear students, now homework time. You have to write one question answer from page number 28, question number 5. Give a short description about embroidery quilt mentioning their different classifications. So dear students, Regarding this lecture, if you have any question, you can ask me in comment options. So dear students, it's enough for today. And you must be help your parents for their housework. Every day you must eat lots of vitamin C and healthy foods. Stay home, save your life and hope see you soon with my next class till then bye bye allah face